For years we have been talking about the changes that we would need to see to heal the world and secure the happiness of future generations. But now we know, or need to know, that the time for talk alone is done. And the time to unite, to share, to serve, and to see the change that needs to be has come. As we awaken to the remembrance that we can heal the world, we also remember that it is something that can only be achieved together. For each one of us holds or hides inside our being an essential part of the plan for universal peace. And so we tender this humble plea that for the love of all things known and unknown, you might take a few short moments to hear with your heart the words which we speak. For it is our deepest desire, our life's only path and purpose, to learn how we may work collectively and thereby inspire as many people as possible to enter a new world of peace and harmony together. All around the planet, people are awakening to the reality that humanity and the Earth are now entering a heightened phase of activity on their inseparable journeys of growth and expansion. This acceleration is marked by increasing solar flare activity and by the rising temperature of every planet in our solar system. While here on Earth, time itself seems to be speeding up and chaos mounting as phenomenal shifts occur in our physical and perceptual realities with increasing rapidity. The simplest explanation behind this sense of speeding up is that our planet's vibrational frequency is rising. This event, which many ancient cultures have prophetically termed the quickening, has begun, and it is the greatest opportunity of our times. As our solar system completes a cycle of its journey through the cosmos, we will soon align with a plane that crosses the center of our galaxy. And as our planet aligns with this higher vibrational field, she is showing us the greatest honor by tuning herself to these higher frequencies, thereby becoming a vehicle which will transport those who truly wish to change into a new world and a new age. That said, it is essential to understand that each individual's consciousness must be raised to a minimal level in order to qualify for graduation into the new world. For the key to success at the time of transition is vibration, and one must harmonize with the higher frequencies of the planet if they wish to remain with her beyond the shift. It is therefore imperative to understand that it is only the demonstration of love that shall positively affect a person's consciousness and vibratory rate to the level that they may make a successful transition into the new world. Every human being presently has both the marvelous opportunity and spiritual responsibility to their own soul to raise their vibratory rate as they may in these changing times. Whether they wish to or not, whether they understand or not, each and every person will shortly be compelled to make a choice that will greatly affect both the present course of their spiritual development and their future through incalculable incarnations. And here it must be emphasized that this choice will only be determined by each person's demonstration of their decision, for it is only a person's ability to express their choice through action that will affect their vibratory rate of consciousness. And it is this which shall establish whether that person has opted to move forward with that which is new and vital, or whether he has chosen to remain a part of the old world consciousness, which is today in a state of demise, as preparations are made for its imminent and permanent elimination from planet Earth. And herein lies humanity's choice. Will we continue to support the warped and crumbling structure of the old world by living to better our individual place within it? Or will we realize that the changes we wish to see will only come when we put aside our self-serving ambitions and come together for the genuine, selfless service of all? The capacity for change lies within each one of us, for if it can be agreed that a change is needed, 
and if it can also be agreed that the change we would wish to see is not going to come from our current self-serving system of governance and authority, then we may realize that some deeper part of us is waiting for someone else to make that change. And further examination may then lead us to the realization that there is no one else. We are the ones we have been waiting for. And for those who are willing to acknowledge that our current path of self-service is leading to our destruction, the time to act is now. We've got to move on to the point of seeing Day when justice, brotherhood, peace well throughout society. So what can we do? How can we affect the changes we would wish to see in the world? The answer, fortunately, is much simpler than most would imagine. Since the dawn of recorded history, it has been a common misconception that a group or individual can change the world by altering the hearts and minds of others. For there are as many opinions as there are people on this planet, and as evidenced by our history, attempting to align them all to one view is not only an act of futility, it is also one of willful dominance. And it is this self-serving will to change and overpower others that is responsible for all of the conflict on our planet today. Gratefully, ours is an infinitely easier task, born from the immutable truth that in order to change the world, one has only to change oneself. And though it is true that the impact of one person changing oneself might go unnoticed in the relative chaos of our days, it must be realized that if everyone on the planet who wanted peace and harmony were to start living for those ideals rather than for themselves, the world would change. All across the planet there are hundreds of millions of people who want to see the same changes as you, and who would put all that supports this current system of self-service aside if they thought it might make a difference. But now they are waiting, just as you have been for a sign that they are not alone in wanting something better for the world. And until we let them know that we are here, and that together we can make a difference, they will continue to trudge down the path that leads to our inevitable destruction. And so the answer that we support as to how we may heal the world lies not in altering the hearts and minds of others, but in inspiring them to live according to what they know is true with peace and harmony, in cooperation rather than competition, for the greater good of all. So how might we inspire the masses to follow their hearts? By following our own. The greatest action that we can perform in this moment is to answer our heart's call to come together and to let the world know that we who would wish it well are here, and indeed that we are everywhere. And if you are in alignment with the action of uniting in selfless service, then we wish to serve and to co-create with you, that together we may spread about the factual information of our times and inform the world of the impending choice that every human being must make in the coming days. And so now, we ask that you please contact us, that we may gather and collectively contribute to the rising wave of love that is already sweeping across our planet and preparing our way to the new world. Have faith, for we are awakening as one. We gotta move on to the point of seeing. Day when justice, brotherhood, peace dwell throughout society.
peace realms throughout society.